Welcome back to Behind the Lines. I'm Graham Knight. Who says you can't go home? Well, don't tell that to Merchant Marine head coach Mike Toop. He came home to Kings Point 17 years ago to a program in search of its identity. And along the way, he helped build the character of hundreds of future military men, as well as a football program. Mike Toop starred as a linebacker for Kings Point in the mid 70s. A four year letterman and captain his senior year, good enough to get a tryout with two NFL teams. But he turned to coaching while fulfilling his Naval Reserve commitment, first at the high school level and then at college. With stops at Colgate, Union, and Albany, Toop honed his skills as a defensive genius in the 80s. He then moved to Penn, and in his seven years there, the Quakers won three Ivy League titles and were undefeated twice. In fact, his defense was ranked tops in Division I AA in 1994. His next stop was as defensive coordinator at UConn before taking his first head coaching gig at Davidson. At Davidson, he compiled a 17-22 record, finishing second in the Pioneer League three of his four years there. And then in 2005, he returned to his alma mater. The advantage for me has always been I was an, I'm an alum. And even though it was a completely different era, the basic dynamics of the place haven't changed. You know, you've got in-doc, you've got academics, you're playing ball, you've got C-year. And I knew firsthand the opportunities these guys would have leaving and you know I was recruited by Army and Navy kind of committed to Navy on a visit and turned it down after I visited Kings Point. His first years back at Kings Point were lean even though he became head coach in 2005 his winning season didn't come until 2016 but he's going out on a winning note his last six years have all been winning seasons including an eight and one mark so far this year tying the most wins in a season in school history. One turning point for Coach Two, his decision to go to the triple option. I think probably the biggest mistake I made in coaching was I didn't go to it sooner. I'm a defensive guy, and one year I was coaching at Colgate. We're playing Yale. They're running the triple, and on three consecutive plays, we put a quarterback out of the game. And that's the downside of the triple is that your quarterback's getting banged. We're not D1 or the other guys where you're getting slots so you can bring in, you can get three guys and get guaranteed recruits, those types of things. So I was always a little bit concerned from that standpoint, but I mean, it was 2010, we lost the game 13 to six and should have won it and dropped eight passes and ran for about 20 yards. And I walked into a staff meeting the next day and I said, we're putting in the triple. And my offensive coordinator said, we can't, you can't do that. I said, well, I'm doing it. And we did it. Ever since then, it's made us more competitive. I've always been a guy that didn't want big beefy guys. I want guys that can move and it's tailor made for this offense. A recent beneficiary of Coach Toop's decision, junior fullback Matthew Savard, who scored two touchdowns in the Secretary's Cup against Coast Guard. Coach Toop is probably one of the biggest influences on my life. I think everyone here would agree with me, all my teammates would agree. Uh, you're not going to get a better coach. Uh, the guy was amazing. What he's done for the program is amazing. Uh, being a grad from the school, I think, was one of the most important parts of him being the head coach. Uh, he gets it. He gets what we go through every day, and he brought the program to where it is. It's a program of guys who really love each other. It's a brotherhood now, and uh, that's all thanks to him. And that appreciation from his players is the reward that means the most to this 45-year coaching veteran. I'm an old-school guy, and old school, the warranty on that went out about 10 years ago, but, but I've been fortunate. My guys have listened, and they've really bought in. An old-school guy who got a bit emotional after his team's third consecutive Secretary's Cup win. It was tough during the alma mater. You know, the last time you're hearing that, it's, uh, you know, it pulled at some strings. As a player, Mike Toop never lost to Coast Guard. Last week's win gave him three straight as a coach. Not a bad way to wind up. As for his legacy, the coach says he's an old school guy who preached mental toughness and never being satisfied. We salute you, Coach Toop. You'll be missed. And when Behind the Lines returns, we'll have some final sights and sounds from the 41st Secretary's Cup. Stick with us. We'll be right back after this.